You know, when I'm at work, I tend to want to get the maximum type of training that I can out of almost every encounter, whether it be people observation, situational awareness, but you're not able to have your firearm in every place where you work and in some places where you work, it's totally banned. So that's why I suggest getting the trigger trainer. Go to triggertrainer.net, get the trigger trainer. As you can see, it has the grip, it has the back strap, and it has the trigger right here without the upper portion of the gun, okay? And you're able to isolate after establishing a good grip, you're able to isolate the trigger finger. For those of you all that have issues with keeping your finger off of the trigger until it's time to shoot, this is the perfect exercise. You can sit here and just create whatever number or different numbers in your head and fire this actual trigger trainer. And then once you're done, take your finger off of the trigger and index it along what would be the frame of the pistol. Trigger discipline is extremely important. You don't wanna keep your finger on the trigger if you're not ready to shoot because things could happen. Someone could startle you and you can accidentally and instinctively press that trigger and shoot at yourself or someone you are not intending to aim at. That's one of the benefits of having the trigger trainer is to enforce trigger discipline. Also, it causes you to strengthen the muscles in your hand and in your arm, your forearm, that do get tired after shooting intensively over time, okay? And the way to strengthen those muscles is to work those muscles out. But if all you do is go to the range and shoot and you don't go often, those muscles don't get worked as much, okay? So, I mean, they do, but not as much as they need to get worked. So that's why I recommend the trigger trainer. Also, when you're talking about ambidexterity or ambidexterity, hope I'm saying that right, which is the ability to be able to use both hands, most Americans, most humans are right-handed persons. Well, what happens when your right hand goes out? You need to be able to transition to your left hand. In fact, when I teach my classes, I don't even use right hand, left hand. I use strong hand, support hand. The strong hand is the hand that is holding the gun, whichever that is, your right hand, left hand. Now, we all have a dominant hand. That's fine. Most of us are right hand. And that first, that would be your strong hand. But if you need to transition from your right hand or your primary hand to your secondary hand or your strong hand to your support hand, hand, that support hand then becomes a strong hand because it is the hand that is holding the gun. It is the hand that you have to establish a good grip on and master trigger discipline with. And what a good way to train without having the actual gun in your hand. Get the trigger trainer, triggertrainer.net. And I would suggest you use this in a variety of different ways. Come up with different numbers. You can go from one to two to three to four to five, maybe one shot, then index, two shots, then index, three shots, then index, four shots, then index, then go back down to one, then go to five. The drill is up to you, but I would suggest you vary it. Don't go to two shots, two shots, because then what you'll do is you begin to create a habit of just doing two shots and a situation where you need to stop a daily threat may not be a two shot situation. So you want to get out of certain, out of developing certain habits, okay? I would also suggest that you work on transitioning from your strong hand to your support hand while maintaining index when you transition that firearm into what is now your strong hand, just like so, just like so. Just establishing a good grip while keeping your finger off of the trigger, keeping your finger off of the trigger. And this is good because sometimes you can develop the bad habit of putting your hand where it shouldn't belong instead of keeping your hand where it should belong. Establishing a good grip, I call this catch the fist. You're making a fist with that gun in your support hand and then you're catching that fist, okay? Just like so, just like so, okay? Go to triggertrainer.net, get that trigger trainer, okay? It has different levels of tension, okay, for the trigger, all right? And it comes with what the package says, I believe it is seven to eight pounds of pressure, okay? This will also cause you to work on trigger finger placement. I call it center of mass. If you want your shots, center of mass, which is where they should be, center of pad, center of mass, center of pad, and you can work on that without actually having the firearm in your hand by making sure that the trigger finger is placed on the trigger trainer appropriately, okay? Look at it, 
put it put the image of where it's supposed to be in your mind okay and then you can begin to isolate this trigger you can also begin to see if you're moving the gun in anticipate or moving the trigger trainer in anticipation